here we have a really nice double bass um, by James Cole. He was a Manchester maker. It's made about 1860. Um, and it's been fully restored in our workshop, so it's offered in mega nice condition. Uh, it's, it was a you know, very clean original double bass anyway, uh, and we've been over it and uh, got it all uh, back to absolute tip top condition. <laughs> Um, so a little bit about James Cole himself. Um, I'm a big fan of the Northern Makers. Um, I think the standard of work they did was really good. Uh, James Cole particularly was an exceptional craftsman. You can see by the quality of what he's produced um, that you know he really knew what he was doing. Uh, and I particularly like the uh, beautiful decorative purfling motif here. On some uh, instruments. He did a round back um, and uh, on some instruments he did this decorative motif uh, and you can see a very similar sort of style but also you can have it at the bottom coming up the bass um, and if you think at the time when he did this that would have taken you a long time to, to be able to you know make the purfling in the first place um, you know all by hand and then uh, cut everything out by hand and then inlay it and you know these sorts of things were um, you know really added would have added time and obviously expense the customer the same again double purfling uh, which he was a fan of again you know you need to do it once or not at all for in some cases some makers don't put purfling at all but he's gone around twice so you could think that potentially this instrument was made for someone with quite a deep pocket who really let coal uh, and his team you know produce something excellent mm -hmm. 